In the last lesson, I showed you how easy it is to work in Excel online. We simply log in to the Microsoft 365 portal and launch Excel from the app launcher. But it's safe to say that if you're sitting at your desk working in your office, you're probably going to want to use the full version of Excel. And indeed, that is what this training course will be conducted in predominantly. So how can we launch the desktop version of Excel? Well, as we've already seen, if you do sign up for a Microsoft 365 subscription, you have the opportunity to install the full versions of all of the Microsoft 365 applications onto your PC. And this is where you'll get that full desktop version. So if you haven't done that already, go to Install Apps on the homepage of the portal and click on Microsoft 365 Apps. That will kick off the download process and download all of the applications. So once the applications have downloaded, how do we access Excel? Well, this is very much going to be determined by the operating system that you're using. I'm using Windows 11, and if I push my mouse down to the bottom of the screen, notice the icons that I have. You can see that I have the Excel icon pinned to the taskbar. Now, Excel isn't pinned down here by default, so you're going to find it underneath your Start menu. Now for me, I access my start menu by clicking on the Windows icon just here, or alternatively, I can press the Windows key on my keyboard to pop open the menu. Now, if you can't see Excel, Word and PowerPoint amongst these icons here, you can simply click in the search bar at the top and search for the application that you're looking for. So if I'm looking for a new installation of Excel, I can just type in Excel. There it is at the top, Excel app. I can either click to launch the application directly, but what I would suggest you do is that if Excel is an application that you use every day, you do pin it down onto your taskbar. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, Click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. What we can do is right click and we can choose to pin to taskbar. Now notice that mine says unpin from taskbar because I already have it pinned, but if you don't, it's going to say pin. So I highly recommend you do that because it means you're always going to have access to Excel pinned to this taskbar at the bottom. And you can see I've pretty much repeated this process for all of the applications that I use frequently. So once we have it pinned to launch Excel, it's a simple case of just clicking on the icon and this will take you to what we call the start page. Now you only ever see this start page when you first fire Excel up every single day. And from here, we can choose to create a new blank workbook. We could possibly start from a template. And then underneath, we have a list of all of our recent documents to make them super easy to open and access. We can see any documents that we have pinned, and we can see any documents that have been shared with us by other people. So this recent list will constantly be changing. As we work and open new files, those will go to the top of this list. So my recommendation is that if you do have maybe a spreadsheet that you work on every single day and you don't want that to keep moving around in this recent list, I do recommend that you pin it. So let's just say that I always access budgetanalysis.xlsx. If we take a look towards the middle here, we have a little pin icon. So I could click on the pin and you can see that that's now pinned to the top of the recent list. And I can also find it under the pinned section. You can see there it is. Now there's lots more to explore in here and we're going to get into that in the next few lessons. But for the time being, that is how you can launch Excel. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.